Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, we're getting ready to start. Uh, well, some people have just started Insidious Waters. Some people still have a couple of hours. And uh, and we got some interesting uh, changes to the game, uh, which I think are uh, uh, pretty good things. So um, I will go ahead and introduce everybody from uh, left to right on your screen, uh, Magic Mike. Hello, everybody. Hope you have a good time. Dr. Death. Hello. Uh, Aussie. Good morning. And let's get uh, put mic on present and we'll start the slides. <clears throat> All right, let's go to bug fixes. There, I hope. Yep, yep, let's go to bug fixes. All right. Uh, there was, I guess, some issue at times where the howler when inside somebody's base would fire when shrouded. I guess that's been fixed. Um, when you are, uh, when you see the display on the right-hand side of your uh, game, you see whether it's upgrading, refitting, or building a brand new ship. I'm not sure it was needed. I was on mute, by the way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Then uh, they've had a change in content. Uh, they were going to launch uh, shipwrecks, I think, next week, and that's been pushed out for two weeks. Um, that's the uh, fleet versus fleet resources thing, um, which I guess we're going to get. Uh, we haven't got our. Uh, Halls for yet, which is going to be part of the PvP part of the game. And the one that I like the best so far um, is the shipyard and conquest yard will begin to auto repair once it's been destroyed in battle. So <clears throat> this is going to be quite helpful for people that want to plan out their builds. I, I, now, this one I'm questioning because I got hit in the middle of the night, which was after the update. Okay. Okay. I okay. logged you, into you, you I, when read I, the update though. Do what? This is nine twenty. This is the next update. Oh, okay. So this is the next week. Yeah, this is okay next week. Um, because they didn't actually make this decision until after the update. So after the update, it will begin to auto repair in the same mechanism that occurred during bounty. So that's a good thing. I'm not sure. Has anybody ever had a partially um damaged shipyard in, or in um bounty or dock in i'm just wondering no. if it gets nicked it'll stop building i'm not sure how that would work so. <laughs> okay that's my only uh, fear associated with it but it's a great thing. It allows players to, you know, I'm going to build and I schedule it out. So this is when the raid starts. You don't have to worry about downtime for, you know, your ships in the meantime. So because you could lose a lot of time. I mean, if you plan something to be done while you're in front of the computer uh, and let's say you get hit right before you go to sleep, you might lose eight hours at that point. But now it's been your the time of completion has gotten pushed another eight hours so mm. you can't do it till the following day so you lose close to 24 hours um mm. so this is could be quite helpful for people and might encourage certain people to actually participate in pvp that might not have before um no you're not on mute mike i've heard you say you were on mute so i don't know that that counts no i am on mute with my but switch. we can hear you with my switch you can't hear me now i can hear you oh you, you can can't hear, hear us you can hear me you can hear me yeah right now yes otherwise no. how the hell am i talking to you <laughs> okay all righty um, it was for another reason but okay all righty <laughs> Sorry, I stepped away. What I miss? I don't know. It's coming it. through my uh, camera too, because I have a mute button on my. Never mind. Go ahead. 
Okay, I'm not controlling if you're on mute at this point, but we can hear you perfectly fine. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, so what the hell is the mute button on my microphone doing? Okay. All righty. Okay, let's move on. Uh, gifting. Users must now be level 100 to send gifts to other players. And this may sound a little uh, odd. Uh, if we can get one more click there, Mike. Sure, no problem. Okay. Uh, this has basically been put into place um, to try to limit or curtail um, players creating burner bases that would allow them to gift to other players and their alliance or friends and then charge back, charge that back. Um, and then, you know, then that burner base would be uh, banned by Kixai, but the gold would still follow on. So I don't know if uh, level 100 is going to prevent that kind of stuff. I mean, these people are already committing credit card fraud. So um, that's a problem. Um, yeah, yeah. And um, so I don't know all the details on what country this takes place or whatnot. And, you know, um, so this is a this is an interesting change. Um, and I'm glad it went forward. So hopefully we'll see uh, a more even playing field as far as uh, certain things go. Well, on that aspect, I agree with you. They, they did need to figure out a way to fix that. But this pretty much puts the nail in the coffin for bringing anybody new in the game. Because what, anybody what, new what? that comes in the game, for them to get help, you know that they need to the merc. And if you can't gift out to the mercs, you know, you're in trouble. Yeah, not everybody has does. access to Facebook cards. Who doesn't? Well, not every country. Like, I got a, I got a friend over in New Zealand that she can never get Facebook cards. Mm. They don't sell in the stores there in New Zealand. Okay. Well, you know so I mean? bringing in your friend that lives in New Zealand somewhere, not it's. I don't think it's put at the death nail of everybody. No, no, I'm saying I didn't say of, of players that are currently playing the game. I'm just saying for for new players coming in, this is this is this is just another thing showing that they don't really have any concern about bringing in any new blood. But everybody else. I don't know how every country, uh, but you're just saying new players from New Zealand might be limited. Well, no, I'm just no, I'm, I'm no. There's there's more countries out there than just the United States and Europe, you know, England. You know what I mean? Uh, there's see, a lot of countries uh, out there that don't even allow Facebook cards. to be 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 in the, be used in their country, and yet these people still get on and play through Congrid or through Kick Science like that. You know what I mean? So options for them to be able to merc has has been pretty much squashed. For someone in the United States, it's not a problem. We'll go down to the gas station, get a Facebook card, you know. Yeah, but or I'm just you can saying, actually this, order this one online, something. and they give you the, the they give you the actual number online through an email. You don't actually have to physically go buy one. Uh, Target will do that. Different companies will just send you an, an email that will have the Facebook code on it, and doesn't. Oh, I know actually. that, but, but still, I'm still there trying are... to get your point of like who this is besides New Zealand. Not, 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 not. New Zealand was just an example. Okay. Awesome. Not every country allows Facebook and, you know, Target isn't in every country around the world. And Kmart isn't it? Well, Kmart's pretty much gone anyways. But Sears and Roebuck ain't in every country around the world. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying this is just one more instance. You know, we've all been saying for a long time we didn't feel like they were doing anything to promote new blood in the game, which really is what the game needs. You know, we're bleeding players and we're not bringing anybody new in. We had all those fake bases pop up, you know, that all went to level five and had the funky names on them and did, and then just never did anything. They just sat there on the water. But uh, we've never really done anything to try and promote bringing in new blood to, 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 to promote the game. And this is just one more thing I see is instead of it being something that's going to, it'll benefit us that don't want to compete against people that are cheating. Mm -hmm. But it's not anything that's going to benefit anybody that knew that might come to the game. You see what I'm saying? Instead, they're blocking that new person because now that new person can't even give a resource gift. Yeah. You see I heard what people I mean? complaining about mercs, and the whole thing sounds, feels a little like, okay, if they're complaining, people can't get mercs. 
Mercs have what in them at this point? I mean, there's, I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, the big problem I see is that the level 100 can be manufactured, uh, and that's my issue with it. I wish there was another another approach that they took because somebody, once they get enough resources, can just manufacture level 100 fairly quickly. Yeah, so it wouldn't even take two hours. And then, um, what? It wouldn't even take two hours. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll see. I mean, but they'll probably, uh, they could probably see the analytics on that, and they're probably giving us the simplification of actually what's going on. So, okay, let's uh, let's move on. <clears throat> All right, pillage. Um, it's over. Um, Aussie ended up in first place by uh, mostly grinding 63s and 80s with a couple of uh, the upper sets. Yeah. So, yep. uh, which was quite a change from what we saw previously, with uh, <clears throat> extravagant numbers, and I'm just sort of wondering if uh, what we just talked about was actually implemented before in some instance, or they were paying attention to that because um, we didn't see the sort of likely suspects uh, all over the top of the leaderboard. Um, so. I'm still thinking it's a, uh, despite them not getting um, resource gifts and uh, mercs, it uh, feels like a good thing to me. Mike, what are you doing? What am I doing? I have no I'm idea. Trying to, uh, <laughs> to be honest, I'm trying to figure out why this freaking thing isn't working right. Okay. Sorry, you're trying to build a house. Well, it's my, it's my <laughs> yeah, camera. A lot of, uh, it's my noise. camera picking up the no, the noise, and I got to unplug it. Okay. Go ahead, keep going. Alrighty. Anything more on pillage? Do you want to mute your mic, Mike? I'm gonna put you on mute, Mike. You can bring yourself back. <laughs> now you are on mute. But um, if anything else on pillage, I thought you know. I got like a 20th of what uh, Aussie did, but was able to get everything that I needed and potentially more. And um, the 63s and the 80s were very obtainable for players <laughs> with, uh, you know, yesterday's technology. So I thought it was uh, accessible to a lot of players. <laughs> so. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to find. All righty. Uh, move on if we don't have anything else on pillage. Mike? Yeah. Mike's on mute. Um, yeah, well, my original goal hear, my original goal for the pillage was to make the big coiners keep on coining, but they stopped. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Um, insidious Waters, which uh, started today. Um, or an alpha and beta it started. It'll start soon for everybody else. So let's move on to the next one, Mike. All right, there's some changes here that aren't reflected in the briefing. Uh, the 106 in the briefing shows the scatter system. Um, while in reality, it's the surgical strike warhead, which is intended for the nemesis. Um, well, the scatter system is intended for the uh, the Saturn, and the preferred target of the 106 matches up. So it's Nemesis across for the 106, and uh, Saturn's for the 104 as the preferred targets. So, and you see the old 100 and 102 down at the bottom, um, which don't provide a bonus, but they still provide the the weapons. Uh, the limited weapons that we had before. So uh, I don't know if they made the changes due to complaints, um, because once once people found out that the uh, they had mismatched the specials, which they had done several months ago, and uh, maybe they thought better of it after players were complaining about it. But they never announced it. It just shows up in your uh, in your game. Um, Personally, I hit the 81 and 83 
uh, almost exclusively last raid for instant repair. And uh, I didn't have the flag, so I'll probably move up, but I'll probably start warm up with the 81 and the 83 and go from there. So, anybody have any thoughts? And Mike, you can take yourself off mute. It was just because you were making a rock. But anything, anybody have anything on the targets? Uh, personally, I haven't hit any of them um, just because uh, the uh, um, I'm in beta and the raid started right as the show started. No, we need to once. I mean, I imagine there's probably a pattern to minimize the damage, but right now. <laughs> Oh, just a few couple hits on the 104, and they're punishing right now because they've taken away your ability to hide in the clouds and snipe the fleets. Yeah, that doesn't sound intentional, and I'm just wondering how that how that's happening. Well, all the clouds are on the outside of the... They've got a ring of land with a big mm -hmm. lake in the middle. Okay, all the clouds are outside the ring. All the ships that you're battling are inside the ring. And there's a cloud covering the entrance. So if you're anywhere in the entrance, they, they still see you when they come down. So you can't drag them through and snipe them out. So you've actually got to drive up into the lake and battle everything. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen the target. So no, I don't know how it would work out. You know, <clears throat> I'm sure we'll find a solution where... Uh, we most likely go back to the what we saw before with the 100, the 102, the 83, 81. Who knows? But uh, or maybe they thought we've had enough uh, technology development. And uh, yeah, and Jeff is saying the fog is working for him. Okay. Um, so maybe it's I, I don't know. Um, so all right. If nobody else has anything on the targets, we can get to the the prizes, I guess. Okay, now I'll go to the next screen. Yep, yep. I, I fixed my problem. Okay, good. Hmm. All right, the Praetorian. <clears throat> um, we'll get to, there's an error on the, um, on the blueprint, which uh, I mentioned to them last night, and then I guess they figured it out this morning, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, just under a three-day build time. Um, unlimited. This is going to be your next uh, FM haul. Um, it's. I'm still working on how they want us to build it. I almost changed the slides around, but we normally start with the hall. We might go back to the hall after we see what the new stuff is. Um, because I feel like we're still waiting for a lot of shoes to drop. Um, can you give a more click, Mike? All right. On the right-hand side is the Inferno Dragon. Um, some of the big things you notice that are similar. Uh, combat speed, turn speed are the same. So if equipped the same, they should be able to drive together. Um, the big thing that's different is the rocket range. On the Praetorian, it's plus 30, while the Inferno Dragon, it's plus 55. Um, If you don't use lower, if you use lowered cannon mount on the Inferno, uh, which gives you plus thirty combat speed, but it's it's uh, the negative twenty five rocket range, and you put hyper thirty, which adds the plus thirty on your Praetorian. I'm not sure this is the right way to do it, but it's the only way that seems to make them work together with range and speed simultaneously. Does that make sense to anybody? And is anybody else taking a look at the new the new hall? No, I haven't looked at it yet at all. Okay. I mean, you're saying it's hey, got but, a shorter but, but, range, no, no, but it's no, no, got no, a lot no, more armor points. It won't work. What won't it won't work? work. What won't work? You're not going to be able to mix. I mean, you probably can mix the Praetorium if you build just right with the Inferno Dragon and run it as a dual fleet like that. But your problem you're going to run into is your Praetorium is going to freaking melt in the target. Because on the Praetorium, they have that freaking stacking of fucking ability on the um, defense bonuses. And it only affects other Praetorians. Okay. 
So you won't get those defense bonuses on the Praetorium. You won't be adding them to the Infernal Dragon. And if you don't have the four or five fleet built, you're not going to get the full defense bonus on the Praetorium. All right. Except for the fact that you can run Infernal Dragons in the current one without the... Uh, I'm lost again. Uh, what stacking bonuses you're not... The stacking bonuses from the Praetorium do not carry over to the Inferno Dragon. Right. The way that they're written now, it only has an aura cap of one, so they appear to be only self-affecting. That is one of the issues that they had that they are going to that they're going to fix, um, and that's going to be an aura cap of five. But currently, in the one twenties and whatnot, you can run the Inferno Dragon and take you know some amount of damage. Um, if you take a look at the the <clears throat> But the armor is about four times uh, that of the Inferno Dragon. I don't think that's going to cause it to melt. If you take a look at the expo explosive, well, no, I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to, if you're going to still form, if you're still going to form the lower targets, then yes. But if you're going to go after the new targets, that's not going to work. I'll almost guarantee it. Okay, well, there's no new targets. I, I'm saying as you progress, that you. Okay, I mean, I'm not sure you're. Um. <clears throat> As you're progressing, as you're trying to move up, we haven't seen an announcement or we haven't seen any new targets. And I'm pretty sure that you haven't seen the new targets. No, 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 no. But we they, they keep that stuff under their under their caps anyways, but we know they're coming. They slipped up and released that there was going to be tier six and seven. Okay. And they're not going to give us this ship, which is twice as powerful, well, almost four times as powerful as the Infernal Dragon, to do the 120s and 121s and 114s and stuff. You know what I mean? That's that's they're not going to do that because then everybody be doing it for repair. Yes, but we're going to see price inflation. What I'm saying is there's most likely going to be a transition period that would allow you to mix the two of them together for some period of time. Whether that's beneficial or not, I don't know. Have they stated that? Stated what? That we're going to be able to have a transition period to mix the fleets. I know players have been asking for it, but has Kixai said anything? But they never say anything. Whatever. Let, let's move on. It's, it's, you're not making... Okay. Um, this is what I was talking about before. Um, the the Rick Segmentata, or whatever, is, uh, is, shows a, a duplicate aura cap of one. Um, and the next release, it's going to go up to five, and this basically doubles the survival rating or the the ar extended armor, um, because the uh, twelve eighty times five is sixty four hundred. So you're going to end up, uh, as you know, with tier eight. You divide it by sixty four, and then you get the, uh, um, then you get the the like the that'll be a hundred percent. And that basically means that you would double the amount of armor that is uh, available for that type of damage. So, so um, let's move on to the weapons, and then we'll come back to the hall. Um, here's the rocket. It's 13 hours to put on. Um, it's single salvo. So when you try to compare these two, I, the way I compared it personally was I looked at the damage, and then I looked at the wall and building damage of the twin fire <laughs> rocket. And the other thing to compare is you see a, uh, a reload time of three, and you need to consider the reload time of the twin fire to be 4.8 because it has a salvo of five. And each salvo after one increases the reload time by 0.2. So it's 4.8. So you have a, a significant increase in damage, even over the, the wall damage, just due to this new reload time. So, But now, but here's something that scares me about this, though. It is a salvo of one, but it has a mm -hmm. spread of 175. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that mean that it could be shooting at something, but it's going to go clear off? you know, out of range and drop in the water? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> the spread number actually needs to be divided by five. For some reason, they've left that in as um, <sighs> everything in the game is, um, except for a couple of things. If you look at spread and if you look at your um, 
your installations in your base, they show things multiplied by five. Everything else has already been divided by five, which is a little complicated. If you take a look at the if you take a look at the twin fire rocket, it has a splash of 15 and a spread of um, 50, which is there's a slightly larger ratio, but not by much. Uh, between 15 and 150 and 16 and, and uh, 175. To our advantage, because we mm. could increase the splash and with the projectiles spreading out over an area, we could get the splash to cover that whole area if you built right. Remember, we used to build like that for that very purpose. Yeah. So that 150 would be in an area that was pretty much covered by splash damage. So you were mm -hmm. getting, taking out whole islands. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we do, like we're doing in the FN, like we're doing in the raid right now with the Saturns. You know, we go up, we take out the whole island. Everything on it's just wiped out by the spread and splash. Yeah. But and then on this, there's only one shot, and it can drop yeah. anywhere in that spread area. Yeah, assuming that you are running one ship with one rocket. Now, once you get five ships with eight rockets, you have 40 rockets. So now you're you versus have... versus what the uh, eight times five four hundred the 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 four you know you had what you're talking to... the twin fire rocket was dropping five times as many shells in the water over its splash and spread yeah, yeah but th do you understand what the saturation would be as when you're hitting everything we don't know this any, at this point. I mean, as far as what the saturation over that uh, that spread and uh, splash ratio, we don't know what the saturation is. Like, how many do you need to pretty much cover everything? We see a large increase in reload and um, damage. Yeah. And so it's firing more often. And it's going to be firing a lot more often than it really appears because what I explained earlier. Um, so that doesn't scare me as much. I'm sort of surprised they did it that way. And the increased reload with speed and whatnot as you're moving along, I I think it's going to be helpful. I, I have not been a part of any testing associated with this. Um, it could have problems at the start. And I have no idea what the next, uh, you know, the 125 and the one, or the 126 and the 128 or 10 whatever the next ones are going to be. But I just wanted to show what the current damage is and the extent, extension of the reload and the reduction to a single salvo actually will speed this up as far as your reload time. That is true. So, all right, 13 hours each. Let's go to the next one, Mike. This is interesting. Um, the Gal Galia special, um, in the fact that it seems to stack with everything except for countermeasure specials, despite that it increases your rocket reload and your explosive survival, um, which isn't something that we would s seen historically. It, well, at least it still stacks with like the RFX. I'm not sure if it still stacks with the cluster. I forgot to check that one because I don't use that in my build, but it's um <clears throat> i find it to be uh interesting special because i think it foretells the fact that they don't mind stacking explosive survival on multiple specials where we had very limited you could have one special that basically added uh damage type resistance before and then you had armors now it appears you can have multiple armors i mean multiple specials and your armors all doing this and stacking together I think it looks more like a direct TV satellite dish than it does yeah. a TV antenna. So I um I just had a check. Did you were you talking about cluster warheads three? Uh, it doesn't matter which one. I, I the one Yeah, I, it goes with it anyway. It will go on. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the only thing that it doesn't doesn't appear to stack with is uh countermeasure specials. So it is interesting that they're allowing us to stack this kind of stuff that we couldn't really stack before. So, and hopefully they come out with a new inventory system some point soon uh, that allow you to see all the different options. So, so far we got the weapon, we got a countermeasure plus special, 
Um, let's see what we got next, Mike. All right, we got our new siege battery. <clears throat> um, it's the explosive battery. Uh, we have the uh, increased turret defense above siege battery that's uh, comparable to our corrosive and penetrative and yada yada that we've seen before. Uh, it is limited. Um, this is actually going to be one of your more expensive buys in the raid, uh, as we'll see later. So we've seen this before. Does anything to really talk about? No. Okay. I think this is the last one. Click forward, Mike, and then, yep, let's go back all the way to the ship, the hall. All right. What does everybody see that's missing that we haven't got yet? I think the armor. Armor. The weapon. Um, I mean, not the weapon, the armor and um, the engine. I yep. don't think we've seen yet. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And that armor is crucial because, you know, not everybody's got the limited D6 armors to fill out a full fleet. Mm -hmm. Plus, we wouldn't know which way to go with those armors at this point, you know. And if you go back to the multi, then uh, you're adding a half an hour of repair time per panel. Six panels, that takes this up to a six-hour repair per hole. Yeah, and we're also seeing an increase in build time, too, because the uh, if you take a look, uh, the Praetorian has six armor slots, while the Inferno Dragon only has five. Yep. So we're going to see... Um, some increase in build just due to a couple of generic builds build I did armor. came out between 18 and 19 days. Okay. Well, but we don't, yeah, with the current tech. With the current tech, not not seeing if they're going to add anything, what they're adding in the FM. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the reason I brought this up is I wanted to ask everybody, what do you feel safe building with at this point? Well, you know, that you don't feel like you're going to. Because at this point, until they start dropping um, new targets and whatnot, or increasing things, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a slower, smarter build on this one, and just putting on what I feel. Um, I'm not gonna have to refit right away. You know, that's why I mentioned the engine and the armor. I don't feel really confident. until until I see what other things are going to mix with. I'm pretty much planning on just doing engine and weapon, or not even engine. I'm planning on doing weapons and the new specials. Yeah, and then I'll see what I can do when the rest of the tech comes out. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I just wish we knew. Uh, Jordy says you're limited to what you can fit, anyways. Um, is it weight constraint? Oh, weapon weight takes over. Oh, yeah, that's the other. Oh, countermeasures. Um, yeah, we don't know a lot about what the new uh, target's going to look like. Um, we could assume that they're going to look somewhat similar because we have similar ratios of uh, defenses. Um, and probably you're going to want to, uh, and we don't know anything about the flag, uh, how you would distribute the countermeasures. But, yeah, I would assume that you wouldn't go eight, of these new weapons because you're probably going to need countermeasures associated with them as well. So yeah, the sync drives would probably, the pen sync might be okay with this. Um, it's not going to time up with your dragon that well. Um, and the other issue is uh, you're limited to, you know, if you're limited to five, the, the total limit of 10, if you have the nemesis, so you could run some issues. My issue is I don't think it's made for this, um, but it could be. I know a lot of people, including I had Mike put a pen sync drive on his Greta Dragon, Greta's Inferno. So um, they might increase the limits. I'm just saying there's a lot of questions out there as far as how we should move forward. And I'm planning to move forward cautiously and maybe put, uh, you know, four rockets on each one the uh the battery and the galil special and that that should take me a good amount of time to do that um but that might be the wrong approach i don't know i'm just trying to figure out where the the holes and the and um 
what we have versus what we are going to have might be. So. There's one other interesting thing that's not on this blueprint. And I'm praying to God they've listened to the community. There's no upgrade stats. Yeah. And well, have you looked? Uh, can you? I don't know. I haven't. Have you looked in the shipyard? I can pull the game up and look. Yeah, it might be in the ship if you try to mock it up in the shipyard. I have not. Um, or the you know. I'm just saying, on the last couple ships, we got the blueprints already had, you know, the upgrades. Well, you know they didn't I mean? show it in the in the blueprints that they gave us. It showed up, but I think it would have shown up under this view. But the, you know, like what they displayed in the briefings did not include that. What you might see in your shipyard um, would have. And by looking at what I put up there, and the fact that it says I do not own this component, that is from my shipyard. So yes, it does not have the upgrade associated with it. So, so hopefully they've listened and they're not going to put it in there. Put upgrades? Yeah. Well, at least hopefully they don't put silly upgrades. Or I don't know what they're going to do with upgrades. They might be waiting for upgrades like six months from now. Because this is a year-round haul. And so that's one of the reasons I'm sort of wondering how you build it. Because they might be dropping tech for a while. So... All right. Um, Aussie, Mike? No, nothing. I don't okay. think they'll do upgrades anyway at the moment because it's the latest hole. You only well, do the upgrades on the Greta's to try and, if you can't get this one, you've got a, you've still got a fleet to use. But we got the, the Nemesis. We got, you know, the Nemesis, we got a uh, upgrades right away. Yeah. So we'll Just have to see, won't we? Yeah. So, yeah. What do you guys think about it having frenzy? I haven't seen that in a little while. Well, on the Eradicator? No, on the the Patreon. No, yeah, Praetorian. But yeah, the frenzy was on the Eradicator. That was the first time we actually saw it. Was on the Eradicator. Um. So well, what, no, we had something like frenzy on what blood, was it, blood, the Tide blood, Seekers blood or blood something? Thirst. Bloodthirst, which is different from frenzy. In that bloodthirst, you built up, but it never went away. Frenzy, you have to balance and keep up, uh, or it yeah. goes away. So we've only seen frenzy previously on the Eradicator, and before that, it was uh, the frenzy is sort of the the harder to maintain sister of uh, yeah um, of bloodthirst. It lasts for four seconds, but you only got to get one kill to engage it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So you got to kill something every four seconds, and that's going to depend a lot on what the target looks like. Yeah, how how gapped out things are, and how much armor they have. Yep. All right, um, Mike. Uh, if nobody has anything else on the new FM prizes, let's go to some of the other ones. Let's go past all the FM stuff and get to the uh, this one, the limited nemesis special. Um, I saw a lot of people today discussing, I don't want to get rid of my 10% reload for 15% damage. Um, it's not a 10% difference. Um, it's far from a 10% difference. Uh, those numbers below are what would go on with your um, your missiles on your nemesis, assuming that you were skulled, um, and including, assuming it was on the nemesis. Um, so basically, to explain why it's not as a big of a difference in reload, you uh, just getting a ship scald provides 400% reload. The hull comes with 100% reload, so you're at 500. So you're talking the difference between 525 and 535, which is not huge. You're seeing a much larger difference in that 15% difference in penetrative damage because we're not getting to these you know, 500 and some numbers. So you will see more of an increase in damage with those. So, um, <clears throat> but is it a, is it enough increase in damage to make it worthwhile to chase and then refit? Um, 
and then also, yeah, uh, uh, Wilbert brings up a good point. Is the fact that, <clears throat> is this, you know, it's garrison and assault. Are we going to see missiles come out for the Praetorian is what I think he's, what he's saying. Um, right now, we just have a limit of five available. Um, it's going to be tough to chase. I mean, it depends how difficult the 106 is. Um, cause you need to hit 25 of those targets in order to get there. Um, <clears throat> so I, I don't know, you know, if people have the capability to hit 25. So, but if you do chase it and you do get it and you do have the points, losing that 10% of reload is not, not the end of the world. You're going to, you're going to benefit from this. Um, more than having the carbon fiber casing. Well, depending on the damage that you're going to get in these 106, whatever they are, 106 or whatever they are, if people mm -hmm. are going to blitz them, we'll just say some people will blitz them. So straight mm -hmm. away they can do 25 and they've got them. But you don't get these for blitzing, do you? Yes, you do. You get the you get the shards if you blitz them. Well, you used to. I don't know. I thought I you only got the shard for the target you killed, and then nope. you got the points for the blitz. I know that before you used to, they might have changed it, because I know hmm. someone that did blitz, and they said they got them. They got the shards to go with them. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go on to the limited Saturn special. I didn't run all the numbers on that one, because uh, I don't have a Saturn. So, uh, but we see a summer disparity there. Um 10% reduction in reload for a 15% uh, increase in damage um, is pretty much the only difference there. Unless there's something tricky I don't know about with Saturns, that the stacks with something that the Roaring Barrel system does not. Um, but these are, they don't feel like absolute gotta have things. Um, but again, you're going to have to hit 24 of the 104 targets in order to get this. Um, which I guess is probably not for everybody, but for a large, you know, a decent um, part of the community, it is. So, mm. all right. Anybody have anything on Scatter System Two? Nope. I okay. Don't have <laughs> Let's I move don't on. use them. So, uh, Tier Eight locked. Um, we have the explosive battery that we talked about earlier for 1 million and to get all five is going to be 5 million. Um, that's why I'm saying it's going to be the, probably the people that are chasing the FM stuff. That's going to be the most expensive single component of the raid. Um, and the rest of it is stuff that we've, uh, we've already seen, um, lowered corrosive mount and multi-lens target tracker. We're in um, pillage for, you know, different price points. So, uh, I don't know. Anybody have anything before we go to uh, Tier 8 Unlocked? Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Mike. Oh, forgot about this. Uh, they've added uh, five days of uh, tokens into Tier 8 Locked. So, you can... Uh, Buy them uh, for uh, it's four hundred thousand per. So these are straight out build tokens, aren't they? They're not the upgrade tokens, are they? They're not the upgrade tokens. And uh, yeah, okay. I'm waiting for them to come out with something like an Omni token that does both, because they did. They talked about some stuff a year ago. Uh, it makes me think that they're they're coming to that. That they're going to combine the build and upgrade tokens, or they thought about it and decided not to do it. I did ask in Discord today about that, but I did not get an answer. So, yeah, these are just purely build tokens. Will not impact your upgrades. Cool. Good question. So, all right, let's go to Tier 8 uh, Unlocked. All right, you have to claim one of these things, but the Praetorian is only 2 million. Everybody remembers me, <coughs> remembers me bitching... Um, Last month, when all I had <laughs> off this list um, 
was the four point five million for the Rock Ring Saturn. Which, we know uh, you're upset that you don't have to spend four point five to unlock this time, FA. We know you don't like change. What? It was a joke. Never mind. Okay, I missed I missed the first part of what you were saying. So it wasn't that funny, really. Anyway, so. okay. Well, actually, I got what he meant, but it wasn't really that funny. Didn't pillage, and we talked about uh, on Friday or last Friday, I think, that the Praetorian was going to be in the unlock store, so you could claim something new that you could potentially use to get to the lock store. So, all right, um, all right. Let's. Uh, any thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. Two point, yeah, two point million or two millions expected. Um, I do find it interesting <laughs> that uh, missile defense system three is the same cost as the new hall, but you know, you know, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, I can go four, five, four. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would have recommend getting this in the pillage. Um, it was much cheaper to obtain um, because at this point, it looks like you're going to probably want to use Missile Defense System 3 and Gale System 4 on your Praetorians. Um, we're not certain of that yet, but it looks like a distinct possibility. So any thoughts on these, everybody? Okay. Yeah, you're probably correct though. They will. You probably will need those. They're going to stick with the same type of st same style of um, targets for the FM. They're just going to mm -hmm. be different. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's why I chose to stock up on these last uh, in the pillage where they were fairly cheap. I'm just mm -hmm. glad we can get the Hellstar shards. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Hellstar. Yeah. Get a couple yeah. of those. Well, you, or you can get some KD shards and start building your second, Mike. No, no. Oh, come on now. Y'all know you want those proto nims. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on to tier six, tier seven unlocked. Um, that's where you can get the rocket uh, from 1.2 million and the defense system. Uh, this will unlock tier seven. Um, everything else has been around for a while. Uh, the other thing that I thought was going to be in tier seven unlocked is actually in tier six unlocked. And you want to click one more time, Mike? All right. You can get up to, uh, these are all 200,000 each, uh, for Apollo 20, uh, Inferno dragon 20, Greta's Inferno dragon 10, and a total of 20 mana core tokens. But so, there's a but there. If you can collect 20, you can usually only hold 10, can't you, of those? I think so, yes. Yes, that's true. Uh, so if there's 20 there... there I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so if there's 20 there, everyone needs to remember you can only collect 10. So if you want to get 20, you got to build something. <laughs> or refit yeah. something to get them. Yeah, but it, they will not let you claim over and just lose them. Oh no, no, they won't. No, I'm just saying that if you want to collect the ten, the twenty, you have to use ten to get the mm. other ten. That's all. Yeah, no, they won't let you overflow. No. Yeah, and I'm a little bit uh, a little bit irked that they dropped this stuff late because before this, I put my Greta's Inferno Dragon to go to U three, <coughs> which is like four days. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's going to be more difficult for me to use some of this stuff before they uh, before they move on. So, mm, because they've got no, um, they yeah, haven't got any it, um, upgrade yeah, I mean, tokens. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, been like turning some gold to to do it. Yeah. So I will say one thing before the raid's over, people. I recommend you play around with your builds. And look at your weights, because you might end up needing to look at, you know, maybe instead of using two of the, you know, missile defense system threes or whatever, you might need to drop down one level. And, mm. you know, they do like have the Gale three and missile defense system two in the tier seven unlocked, for, which has a lot less weight to them. Yeah. Yeah. But does the, does the missile defense system two have the same accuracy as three? 
No. I don't it does. see it. It does. Okay. I've got to check that. Let me look. Yeah, I could be wrong. I know one of them did, but I don't know. remember which one. Let me look. I got the ship right here. Let me yeah, pull and Derpy's that. Yeah. Yeah. System 2 is also in the FM. So, I thought yeah, it was the one the that was in the FM. Mm, yeah, I thought it was the one that was in the FM, and the two was in some weird TLC I never did. Um, no, you lose You lose five points of accuracy. It goes from 70 to 65. Okay. Yeah, that's all it's shy. So, But the weight's almost cut in half. You're going from 735 down to 415, so you're losing 300 tons. That can make a big okay. difference if you're pinching one weight on a build. Both, just so I can clarify, MS, uh, MDS 1 and 2 are both in the FM. Okay. So. I was just saying, just in case, mm -hmm. something to okay. look at, you know, in case you're running into a weight issue. We've been doing that on some of these newer holes, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can, get, you can get three of each, can't you, in the FM? Or it's three of one of them anyway. I don't know which one it is. Yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't look into that because I'm not. Uh, I'm in sort of a MDS three or or four, yeah. four, you know. Yeah, same. I just can't remember what what they're in. Um, yeah, you can get three MDS ones in tier four. So that's all I know. Okay. Apart from that, I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. Well, I'm going to. Uh, Let's go to the next one, which is our. Uh, I, I updated the calendar, uh, both with the correct dates and um, the fact that the the shipwrecks feature is getting moved to uh, 528 or the week of 528. So, but as far as this does not include um, VXP weekends, but everything else should mostly be included besides TLCs and. And whatnot, but this comes from um, Chris's uh, CM diary. So. Any idea what the new building content is? Have we heard any rumors? No, um, no. That if there are rumors, or you know, there's things that could be. I mean, like should be, uh, such as an example of uh, the portals at 18 days is ridiculous, and the other thing that's ridiculous is the shipyards. So those would be the ones, uh, not based on any rumors, uh, but based on uh, need. Um, no, no, I'm not talking about the, the 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 time price adjustments. I'm talking about the new building content that's listed. Uh, okay. You know, are we getting another OP, or are we getting more land? I mean, there were some things that we didn't get when the when we got the last OP upgrade, right? We didn't get the bigger yeah, footprint. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll get another tower. I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's why I was but, asking if anybody had maybe heard anything, oh any, yeah, any George, whispers George's of anything on what they're what they're looking at. Jordy's bringing up mountains, which is a good one. I, you know, they told us we were going to get that. That is true. Um, yeah, we were going to get first. We got the heavy uh, transformer and the limited range, and now we're supposed to get the mountains. So, uh, yeah, next week you may have mountains in your base. So. Uh, That'll be fun. So uh, I'm going to post a link because um, this is the last slide in case anybody would like to join the show or the after show. Uh, we've gone for an hour. Um, I'm going to take Mike off present. And uh, yeah, and then also we got the Gorgon coming out uh, in a month, I think. Another Defender Hall. So, anybody else have any uh, much else to uh, say? I haven't, you know, participated in the raids, so we will talk more about that on Friday. And um, hope everything's uh, going well. Hey, Admiral. Admiral How are we doing? How was your? Uh, how's everything going with you? Oh, not doing too bad. I love that LTO they gave us today. I am stoked. Yeah, it was nineteen ninety nine for twenty five assault tokens, uh, ten fifty k. Yes, Saturn and fifty k nemesis and seventy five gold. Yes, sir. Okay. 
it allowed me to basically finish off my uh, Nymph fleet. That's cool. Always and nice now, to, be able to finish off a fleet right before the raid. Yeah, and now they're also all scold except for the flag. Okay. Yeah, which I'm not sure how that works out because a lot of people drive the flag as a bait. Um, and I'm not sure. Yeah, because you have uh, um, all your countermeasures on there. Uh, yeah, I ended up putting all countermeasures, but they're not all MDS threes. I've got three MDS threes on the flag and three phalanx fours, fours on the, yeah on the flag, and then two of the missiles. Okay. Yeah, and I, then I and then I took your advice on the new special and put it on the arch nemesis as well. Okay, yeah, the multi lens. Yeah, yeah. Well, have you? Uh, are you in alpha or beta or uh, have you started yet? I will start in uh, about a minute and a, minute. a half, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Must be in the same world I'm in then. <laughs> yeah. I'm in fifty four. Yeah, okay. fifty two. All right. I, uh, the I'm other sure day, come hit your base. So. No, I don't hit bases. Um, <laughs> the other thing you said the other day, you know, you know how you're saying about putting that mold, um, what you call it, um, the multi -lens? multi lens. Yeah, the multi lens just on the flag mm -hmm. because it reduces your accuracy. Mm -hmm. The missiles already have a hundred percent accuracy. Okay. So if you drop that down, it's not going to make any difference, is it? No, 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 not no. at all. I mean, no, yeah, no, I noticed I mean, that. I'm disagreeing with you completely. Is uh, yeah, I missed. Yeah, the other day I didn't actually look at the missiles, and then and then I was I was refitting, and I just scrolled across the thing, and it said 100. percent I'm like, hang on a minute, okay. <laughs> it's not going to make any difference. Yeah, there's a good article um, that explains if you're 100 percent accurate going against somebody with 60 um, percent evade. Or 75% yeah. evade, and it appears that a lot of the subs, especially the chaser ones, the vipers, have yeah. a lot of evade. Right. And so okay. the higher your the higher your accuracy, the more easily you're gonna overcome evade. Okay. All right. Okay. And so yeah, it is important to go above a hundred um okay. for the modern target. All right. So uh yeah, I can post that at some point. But if you guys look up evade versus accuracy, once you go to the um, – the uh, like you're going to file a ticket in that sort of support area, there's an article that has the uh, the equations and how to figure it out and um, tries to explain it for everybody. So Okay. I'll look that up later. Okay. Sometime. Okay. No, it's it's worth knowing because it, it is important both on your builds, you know, as far as mm. how you would want to deal with evade and how you would want to deal with accuracy from the offensive style side. Yeah. So yeah. okay. All right. Does anybody have anything they want for the uh to talk about on the live show or should we progress to the uh to the after show? I'm good. I'm good. Jordy? No, I'm, I'm good. good. All right. Well, granted, I do think I, I do think Jordy is correct. We probably will get the mountains, but as far as base content, we may also get another upgrade to the portals. Didn't we? No, we're still at currently at max at three. Yeah, but I thought we got portal three come out. We this op? No, yeah. it came out. No, no, Portal 3 is not this OP. Yeah. yeah well, was, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, the thing, the other thing I would potentially guess at, you know, uh, Dr. Death mentioned some land pieces. The other thing is potentially a couple of more turrets. I, I don't Well, I don't if they're going to the do more turrets, speaking. they're probably going to do another level to the OP. Well, we're still out turrets from last time, if you... If you yeah. follow the normal progression, um, we should have probably got two turrets and two four land tiles in, in the last yeah. OP that we didn't get. If and they, you... did, they did say it was a part release. And, um, you know, when you consider that the Howler is shrouded for a lot of its journey, you could do with a longer channel, couldn't you? Yeah, and maybe we get another portal. Who knows? Uh, there's all sorts of possibilities, and we're... We're sort of speculating. Um, 
but there are there have been a lot of good things mentioned that they have specifically said we didn't get um, or said that that we were going to get that could drop uh, both next week and then there's another drop uh, the following month so it could happen at both times but I'm gonna wind up the show I'll post the link uh, one last time in case anybody like to join the after show otherwise we'll see you all on Friday and we will know a lot more about the targets in the raid. So hopefully that's helpful to somebody. So uh, see you all then. And thanks for showing up. Later, everyone.